Here we go. T-Mobile finally taking SIM swap fraud seriously with new transfer pins. All right, this particular story from Jules Wang. This is androidpolice.com. All right, so the story is T-Mobile reportedly working to join AT&T and Verizon and how they approach security measures, preventing people from, you know, taking your number and gaining access to other types of account access. All right, so um, I don't know. I think we were actually, we reported this previously. It looks like now things have kicked in and they've got the system in place. Uh, it started March 14th, I believe. So that's cool. Uh, just came across it and I wanted to update you guys on this. So um, AT&T and Verizon have been doing this for a while and uh, what they call NTPs. They've been doing this since 2020. Looks like T-Mobile finally getting on board with it after the FCC proposed rules regarding NTPs late last year. All right. So customers can generate the NTP when they want to transfer their number to another carrier, either by logging into the account through the carrier website or through the app. In T-Mobile's instance, it looks like the PIN is going to be a six-digit number. You'll have seven days once requested to use that PIN. Only consumer postpaid accounts will be eligible for these. So it says you're excluding the Lifeline plan. All right, so scammers have conducted SIM swap attacks. Yeah, we know all about this. Uh, this has been an ongoing problem here. Uh, there's apparently also going to be a, a block setting internally called no port. Uh, that's a new feature. You know, they've had a lot of data breaches in the past, but this is a step in the right direction, finally getting on board with this and finally taking steps to kind of secure people's numbers. Not You just can't sit there and not do anything about these things. I know a lot of people out there are apathetic about breaches and my data is out there and Experian and all this. I get it. It's very frustrating, but good to see T-Mobile finally doing something about the porting out of the, you know, the SIM swapping and all of that stuff. You guys glad they did this too little, too late. You know, what's your thoughts and opinions on this? I'm just happy. I'm just glad they did it. Offer some kind of security and protections for their customers. After all, that's all we care about here on the channel is seeing consumers being, you know, advocated for and protected in some ways. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Go ahead and comment down below as well as like this video and share it. Subscribe for more and turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there. Get early access to content and exclusive content not found anywhere else. And then you can get discounts and promotions on those mobile through their Discord server. Also, my Twitter and email in the description as well. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.